Oh, hi there everyone, it's Falcor here and welcome back. I actually filmed this yesterday, but I thought it would work really well for day 14, so here we go. So, because I thought I'd treat you, show you how I do a thing. So, I've got these little acorns, they're like little felted acorns that you can make. And to be honest, of all the things that you could possibly make when it comes to felt, these are probably like the easiest thing you could make. There are two different ways to make them to be fair, and I have tried uh, the both of them. The first one is where you've got to like roll the felt into little like kind of balls and you do it with like hot water, cold water and like dish soap and it works. It just takes a long time and like is just makes a lot of mess with all the water. It does make them very even and like super perfect like kind of balls. But so let me look at these. So for example, this one's been made using uh, the water technique and then this one's been made using just the normal felting needle and you'll see that you know they're both the same and I actually prefer the look of the one done with uh, uh, the needle because it looks more like kind of handmade. A felting needle if you've never seen one before it is a needle that's got little sharp fangs on it that like point like in one direction and the point is, is that when you push it in that grabs hold of all the wool it's called wool roving um, and it like pushes it, it, like binds it all together. Um, but when you pull it back out, it obviously like leaves it where you pushed it into with the teeth, with the bands. It's got wool of varying colors. This is wool roving. Got a needle, uh, a handy piece of sponge that's useful for like putting uh, the felt on to like stab it with so you don't stab yourself in the hand. Uh, and we collected some little, what I call acorn hats that are like just at the top part off an acorn that we collected from our local park. Um, and yeah, this is this is basically how you do it. It's the easiest thing to felt. You just gotta make a bowl. Got a needle, uh, a handy piece of sponge that's useful for like putting uh, the felt on to like stab it with so you don't stab yourself in the hand. And we collected some little, what I call acorn hats that are like just at the top part off an acorn that we collected from our local park. It's the easiest thing to fill, you just gotta make a bowl. So the wool roving looks like this when you, when it's like in its roving form, because that's what it is. Um, it's just like a big floofy piece of wool. Floof, this has been terribly rolled up by whoever used it last. You sort of like want to, well, that's probably fine, kind of need to just tease off a chunk of it. You can do it just by pulling it like, gently and it comes away and then essentially you can just like kind of tuck it all in into like a ball obviously because that's what you just want to make a little like kind of a ball you don't even need to worry about it being like oblong or like oval or like you know acorn shaped because it'll all just come together and then get a felting needle and then it, it's good to like start to bring it together just like that just be careful of your fingers is all I'll say, because it is super easy to stab yourself in the fingers. Ow! So, and you'll see, look, when you start to like, see what I mean? Like, you stab it with it and it just sort of holds it in and it brings it all together. And then I can put it on top of a sponge if I want. You just have to keep at it for ages and ages and ages until it all sort of comes together and just keep on moving it round. And it sort of like shapes it you are probably looking at it right now thinking, oh my God, that must take forever. But honestly, it genuinely comes together way faster than you think. So I'll continue with this and come back to you when it's done. So as you can see, I'm kind of like stabbing it with the needle and sort of rolling it around. Every now and again, I kind of roll it between the palms of my hands as well. And it just keeps shaping it and molding it into the ball that we want to create. It's honestly super, super easy. The easiest crafting you could do. In, you know, probably like five or ten minutes, I've made a little felted ball just like that. Um, I've probably made this a bit large actually, I think. So obviously the amount of um, wool that you use will obviously determine the size of said ball. Um, so like that's normally about the size that I've made in the past. So I guess just you <laughs> use a slightly smaller um, amount of the roving wool. But essentially, I guess it depends on the size of the acorn hats that you have. I do have a couple of larger ones in here, I think. So it's essentially a case of choosing a little acorn hat. This one looks like it might fit. That best fits 
yeah, he'd probably fit. All one does is get a hot glue gun, put a dab of hot glue in there, and then you would stick it on, and that's it, and you've just got your cute little thing. Um, I got these little screw things off of um, some uh, polystyrene balls that we had, and I screwed that into the top of one, um, and just made it into a little hanging Christmas decoration, and I made some, some for some other people as well. They're lovely, I just think they're simple and they look really sweet. And like, I quite like the ones in the random kind of colours, like the orange. I did a couple of like, kind of mixed ones and this one was just some leftover bits when Ryan made his felted Christmas tree. Um, and this was just some leftover like, kind of pieces that I just combined together and made a funky little colourful acorn. The point is, is that honestly, like you can buy these, I think I bought these felting needles in a pack of like loads of Wish and they were like a couple of quid but you can buy them anyway you can buy them at the craft shops you can buy them at like the range things like that and from that point on you can just make stuff let me show you we made these little felted pumpkins this one's got like a polystyrene ball in in it that we cut the top and the bottom off and then just like felted the orange felt all around it um and this one's made completely just of uh, the felt which you just use a needle like to shape it and that's what you can kind of do you sort of like shape things with your needle and ryan made this cute christmas tree which i adore it's so beautiful and that was the bit that i used all the leftovers to make this little felted acorn well that's all i've got time for today i hope you enjoyed watching me do my little felted acorns let me know if you do any felting because it's so easy and so fun so Thanks very much for watching. Okay, I love you. Goodbye.